Hello, uh, let me check in with chapters 5 to 11 of uh, The Synthetic Man, Men of Mars by uh, Edgar Rice Burroughs. Uh, this being a John Carter novel, but it is told through the perspective of Vor Daj, one of his um, kind of young guardsmen who goes along with him on an adventure, which makes it really odd because you don't really get to see John Carter that much, or at least he's kind of quietly just sort of there in a way that um, makes you really wonder why, like, either just not have John Carter there or have John Carter be the main POV person. It's kind of an odd decision. Um, anyways, they've they've gotten to this, um, they've ended up uh, getting um, snagged by these, uh, the Umads, who are these synthetic men who have been created by Raz Thavis, uh, the mad, the mad scientist, the mastermind of Mars, <coughs> as he is known, um, which, you know, that's where John Carter and was looking for because he needs Raj Thavis to help him um, with uh, Deja Thoris, who has apparently had some kind of a terrible accident, uh, air, aircraft accident, uh, airship accident, sorry, not aircraft, excuse me. <coughs> oh, something went down the wrong way. Um, so yes, they've, they've gotten there. Um, the, they've, uh, they actually end up in, uh, Raj Thavis's, uh, laboratory and, um, they're, they're working with him, but they, ha they're, they're confined there. And now the, uh, um, door, um, what the hell door. Oh, what the hell, whatever the name of our young plucky um, POV guy is, he's he's really into this woman that they, uh, Janine, uh, um, Janine, Janine, uh, I'm going to have to look that up as well. It's really, he's really into, her, really into her, but she's been taken to another part of the thing. She's apparently going to be one of the agetics. Um, plaything uh the the highest the highest of the homads have gotten uh red martian b bodies and had their brains put into them um because they're the commanders um and um they're all arguing over who gets to have her but at this point it's it's it, they're sort of like mm, we don't know um but um <clears throat> he has a, he has a good idea he says like oh um, well, actually, no. What he does is he meets up with that brain that that he liked before, um, that's gotten grown into a really super powerful body. But the guy really wants to be in the body of a uh, of a normal human being, um, which um, they come across. They one gets captured, and it's an assassin. And um, our dude actually suggests, us, "Hey, why don't we use him?" Just like, wow, that's pretty cold and the guy's like raving and and really like angry and pissed so i guess we're supposed to be okay with him getting his brain popped out and um and and uh number 45 450 million or whatever getting popped in uh tur dan argus or something like that it's three three things um and he becomes uh tungan tungan uh in his in his new in this new body uh, and the, and he has the idea of like, hey, why don't you put my brain into the Honad body, and thus I can infiltrate in to the um, the Honad stuff into the Jetix, and find and try and find my my true love, some of the woman I've decided is my true love. So they do it, and indeed he kind of he um, he makes makes a couple of allies amongst the Honads. And he is super, super powerful. Uh, and he's like, oh, well, you actually would be, so I will recommend you to my, I think it's the third Jetic on this Council of Seven. He's the third Jetic he recommends him to. And uh, he indeed becomes a guard there. <clears throat> and he wanders around and he's looking and he's trying not to ask too many 
quest too over curious questions because he doesn't want to alert people, especially when he doesn't know kind of the lay of the land yet. But eventually, he does find uh, the place where they're keeping all the they're keeping the women, which I guess the the Honeds themselves are sexless because you know they're they're basically born out of, in in a, this horrible vat, which spits out like basically all kind of randomized things, and they just kill all the ones that are just you know, too moronic or just too horribly malformed uh, and just keep the ones that are just slightly kind of bizarre. I mean, he just talking about what his Honad face is, it's like he's got one eye, you know, up, up by his eyebrow and the other one's low down and he's got one giant ear, one small, one small ear. He's just like no symmetry. You know, even his body is, is fairly, like I think his legs are, are, are really long or, or they're really short. They're really short or really long. And it's like, it's just a hor horrific, horrific body. But, um, so, you know, they, they, the, but they're, they don't have any sex, but when they, I swear, they get, they get put into the red Martian bodies, then suddenly they get a sex drive and they're interested in having females around. So they, uh, they've been collecting females and indeed one of the females is a Janai. I'm going to say Janai at the moment until I can remember Janai, 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 Janai. I'm going to just go with Janai until I look at it and say it a couple of times to myself. But um, he finds her. And uh, because the third Jetic comes in, but the first Jetic comes in at the same time and they start fighting. So he's able to uh, spirit her out and, and hide her. Um, and there the third Jetic um, gets into a tussle with the first Jetic and, um, they, they try and arrest the third Jetic and he's like, and I think it's Amhap, Amhap or something like that. He, his, is turns out is his name. Uh, he kind of storms out of the city. He conquers the entire island except for the city and is now going to lay siege to it, which has kind of put him, is put our Vor. Vordage, Vordage. I'm gonna Vordage. God, I hate these names. Vordage in a, in a position of like crap. I, you know, the woman I wanted to be closest to, I'm now on the opposing side of an army outside, and because of my body being so distinctive, um, I can't like. It's like I can't sneak back in. They'll just think I'm been sent by. Uh, what do I say? Arhap, Amhai, Amhai, or something like that. Arhap is from uh, Gulliver of Mars. God, all these horrible names. Um, so yeah, yeah, that's basically where we are at the moment in this, in at the, at the moment in the story. And I will leave it there for the moment. More videos later.